ACDC. It is old metal rocker 65. And I am going to be showing you a lot of 10 inch that I have in my collection here. Uh, I do have others, but these were the main focus is what I wanted to show you. You know, I did two of the sevens, which I showcased a lot of my uh, seven inch that I have. Uh, I don't buy a lot of 10 inch. Uh, so predominantly, this is basically what I have, unless I have some, I might have some other stuff here. But anyway, we're gonna, we're not gonna get in real big detail, but we're gonna go through them very quickly. <clears throat> this here was a record store day buy here from Atomic Rooster. And this is live at Paris Theater 1970. Of course, if you're not familiar with Atomic Rooster, Vincent Crane, John Ducan, and Carl Palmer on drums. 1970, this was recorded. So, yes, I believe a record store day. I don't see this anymore ever being advertised. Uh, I bought this because I liked the band and it was kind of a it was kind of, it, you ever have one of those albums where it just kind of gnaws at you to buy it buy it you'd kind of delay and delay and delay and then it, you see it again and it tells you buy it buy it well I have one of them and that is this one here ACDC a long way to the top the Bond Scott ears it's a gatefold edition here and uh, it has it's a two album set, you know, it has a lot of the classic tracks on here, you know, and, uh, but uh, 10 inch album on orange splatter vinyl, the legendary broadcast 74 to 79 with Bon Scott. And then I have a couple of these, in fact, I have three of these. I showed, uh, the seven inch where I had a three or four of this band's material on seven inch while well, I got the 10 inch here and I have uh, Accept Balls to the Wall live at Bach and Open Air in 2017 with the Symphony Orchestra and then uh, they did Balls to the Wall and then on the B side they did Symphony number no. 40 in G minor. This is the silver edition this is the clear edition, and I have the gold edition. So, I have all three of these. These I came out on Nuclear Blast, so I don't think you can get them anymore. But, anyway, good stuff to have. And then, uh, I don't even remember where I got this. Might have been at a record show I was at, or maybe I bought it online. I just don't remember buying this. But anyway, it is uh, Anthrax, Fistful of Metal, and Armed and Dangerous 10 inch split here. But uh, anyway, it is a uh, Fistful of Metal. It, it is a double album set. It has Death Rider, Metal Thrashing Mad. Uh, I'm a 18 panic subjugulator soldiers of metal death from above anthrax across the river and howling furies and that is on that track this side here and then on armed and dangerous it has armed and dangerous studio raise hell studio god save the queen studio non LP version metal thrashing mad live panic live Soldiers of Metal, a rare, a rare track, and Howling Furies, a collector's rare track. So there's one, two, yeah, there's four albums in here. So pretty cool addition here. And Crystal Viper, I have all their stuff on vinyl, and uh, this is the only one that is not on a regular 12 inch 
an EP. It's uh, limited to 500 units and it uh, Crystal Viper and uh, at the edge of time. You can get it on CD, but it's not on the 12-inch, as far as I know. But uh, love Crystal Viper. Of course, with Marta Gabriel. I mean, she's, she's like a Doro to me. Uh, she just keeps cranking out. Her and her husband just keep cranking out killer metal albums after albums. And now they have their own label, too. So, anyway, good to have this. Let's see when this came out. 2018. And then I have, I bought this at a record show. I picked up this uh, Cheap Trick. Falling all the parts. And uh, here's the back. But, uh, this came out in 1980, actually, so very cool to have. And I bought this from King Fowley, so maybe you can guess maybe what it is. Of course, you got your choice of a few bands, but it is a deceased nuclear exorcist on 10 inch demo. From 89 and then I bought this as well as the full length from uh, they just released a brand new album and it is absolutely a phenomenal release for 2024 uh, just killer anyway this came out a few years back. This is a Deep Purple with Whoosh. Limited 10 inch vinyl. You have uh, Throw My Bones and Man Alive as well as one unreleased track from the upcoming album Whoosh. I, these are probably still available, I'm not sure. And then I had showed you Crystal Viper. Well, I got this as well, but it's not Crystal Viper. It is Doro, Raise Your Fist in the Air. Limited 10 inch single clear vinyl in a gatefold edition. Love Doro, anything I buy, I can bind. But uh, yeah, this came out in 2012, so it's been out. Coming up on almost, well, not quite 15 years, but soon to be a couple years. So, Doro. I love this band's material, too. And I have most of it all on vinyl. And I should probably do a collections video of this band's material. Uh, this was put out by Music on Vinyl, a 10-inch from Golden Earring and The Hag. Uh, brand new mini album, red vinyl, individually numbered. Mine is 896. I'm not sure how many of these were pressed, but it is pressed in a silver leaf. You can see it on the back down here, but uh, some uh, golden earring. Kind of a, a band that really should have got more recognition. Of course, they're only, everybody knows the radio hit, uh, you know. Radar Love, but they were much more than that. That's a good album, though, by the way. Anyway, I just recently picked this up. Some Southern Rock. And uh, this is from the George Hatcher Band. A limited 10-inch EP. And it is Have Band Will Travel. It's on the United Artists label. But uh, just good old Southern Rock. And then I picked up this a number of years back, 2017. I picked up this 10-inch uh, from Halloween, Pumpkins United. 
put out by a nuclear blast. This is just black vinyl. I just bought the one, I think. I think there are multiple color versions. Of course, this has side A, Pumpkins United, and also side B is the same, but an orchestral mix on the B side. So, very cool. And I picked up this many years ago, too. In fact, quite a long time ago. Be coming up on 19 years. Or close to 19 years. Uh, I don't remember the exact date. But this came out in 2006 on uh, Nuclear Blast. And it was Hammerfall with a natural high. It's a gatefold edition. I'm trying to think of what right, must have been God second or third album because they've been around quite a long time then I picked up kind of a psych hard rock maybe doomy at times uh, this 10 inch from Jess and the Ancient Ones it's on the Savart label I know Scott Waters showed a, a an album that was on the Savart label. I can't remember what it was again, but I do have a number of these uh, Savart label bands, and they're all killer. But Jess and the Ancient Ones. And being a big fan, we all are. I'm sure most of us would probably have this if they were lucky enough to get it when it was released. This is uh, the 10 inch from Judas Priest with five souls on red vinyl. Uh, immediately snagged this up. I also have a rare 7 inch that I picked up uh, this past summer. It was on a uh, uh, magazine. I'm trying to think of the magazine. But it had the 7 inch of the single from the new Judas Priest in there, and that's the only way you could get it. Uh, God damn it, Hammer something magazine. Can't think of it. Anyway, this I've had for quite a while as well. These are actually, well, this one's been around, well, coming up in 10 years, I guess. Uh, they've been kind of quiet. I think they do have some new material out now, but this is Cobra and the Lotus and uh, Words of the Prophets, uh, limited 10 inch color. She takes on uh, rock classics, Black Velvet, Spirit of Radio, of course, uh, all classics here. Laid on the line from uh, Triumph, Sign of the Gypsy, Queen, April Wine. So most of these are all Canadian covers. Rush, uh, Bachman Turner, and uh, um, uh, Alana, Alana Miles. Uh, so, yeah, cool stuff. This... I believe was picked this up. I think this was over at. Well, maybe I picked this up at Sound Mass. Maybe it was 2019. This is Light Force and uh, Battle Zone on 10 inch black vinyl. I picked up this a number of years back and uh, 2011. And I picked up this uh, Nightwish Storytime 10 inch single white vinyl and gatefold. And it has uh, two variants, two different speeds you play it out. Side A is 45 and B is 33 and a third. So I have a, I had another album like that I just played that was like similar. Nightwish. And I picked up this, I believe this was, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, Record Store Day release. And uh, this was Motorhead, 40th Anniversary Limited Edition Picture Disc, 10-inch EP. Of Motorhead and Girl Schools, Ra Raucous St. Valentine's Day Massacre Collaboration. Record store day. Eh? 
some new wave of traditional heavy metal from a band that's been around probably about four or five years now. Ox Blood Forge and Cult of Oblivion. And this is what? Oh, it's a clear vinyl. Definitely clear. So, but uh, anyway, so Ox Blood Forge. Some uh, progressive metal, progressive rock, kind of a mix of the two from a band out of, uh, I think they're out of Israel. And a very good band indeed. Band is called Orphaned Land, and the album 10 inch is Aria. Ararat, 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 something like that, Ararat, something like that. Uh, four songs from Century Media. This came out, what was it? Uh, I'm not going to find a, a year on here. Number of years back, put it that way. But Orphan Land here. Another new wave of traditional heavy metal band here and uh, this is the lead guitarist I believe and another member of seven ah what is it seven uh, no, 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 I can't think of it uh, they'll come to me later but anyway this is a side project called the Phantom Spell New wave of traditional heavy metal. Tales from the Black Spire. Just gotta love it. Just plain kind of a, a tan cover with black writing, which is very legible and re readable. So, with the Phantom Spell. And this is part of a Kickstarter project that I went in on. I haven't done any more with this band. I don't know. They just. I just got kind of bored, I guess, with their music, so I kind of just quit buying their material. But this is very good here. This is a 10 inch as well from uh, Seven Kingdoms. Uh, female fronted vocals. Sabrina Cruz is the vocalist. Uh, Empty Eyes is the 10 inch. Kind of on a, I don't know, a burgundy, a light burgundy pink splatter autographed by the band another killer band from the 80s who has been back doing new stuff and this is another one it's put out by FM FHM records it's 350 out there I have number 73 and this came out in 2020 and this is uh, Siren, Lost Tracks from the Dead. But uh, love Siren. I've interviewed them on my radio show when I was doing radio. Uh, they sent me an, an OG of, uh, God, can't think of the album now, uh, from their catalog, which it's hard to find now, especially an OG. But anyway, Siren. Inch from a well, I don't let's see, are they yeah, kind of thrashy, kind of maybe more power thrash orientated? This is limited to 300, and I have 37. It is on let's see, what is Cargo Records, I believe, and it is Interlude to Self Destruction from Stage War. Also autographed by the band. Very cool. And then I have a couple albums, different colors from, it's a split actually, from Substratum and Skeletor. This is the green. 
And here's the other album. And that one, let's see what color was that? Well, that one, this one is the green. I got a, sure it is. They're both green. Well, how do you do? Anyway, so I got two. And the last one, a 10 inch from one of my favorite all girl groups of the 70s. One of two. This is one of them. Uh, the Runaways, Born to be Bad, 10 inch Girls Can We Rock. Historical document, first demos from uh, 75, produced by King Fowley. I have most of the Runaways material, so. Anyway, guys, that is all I have for the 10 inch here. Uh, like I say, I don't buy a ton of it, but what I do have is all killer. So anyway, if you got any comments, leave them below. Hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. That way, you'll be in. Uh, you'll be notified when I have a new video up. So anyway, guys, take care. Keep it loud. Keep it heavy. Keep it metal.